Hello viewers, I hope you're well. Once again, I'll start by introducing myself as Erika Mkisa, aka Mama Maisha or Mami Zion. Today, I just feel led to talk about uh, celebrities who have sold their souls to the devil and how they are initiated into the brotherhood. You know, when we talk about these things, many people say these are conspiracy theories. They try to make us look like we don't understand what we are talking about. But I'm talking about this from experience, from an angle of experience, because experience, they say, is the best teacher. I was recruited into Satanism as, at a tender age by a very popular celebrity in Uganda. Just like any other person, I blindly followed him and little did I know that this musician had sold his soul to the devil. And I found myself, after interacting with this musician, uh, his brothers, I just found myself meeting with Satan face to face. My soul was trapped for a long time, but by the grace of God, I got delivered. Today, I'm not here to share my testimony. I'll be sharing my testimony, though, on this platform. But what I'm doing is to give an introduction so that when I start sharing my testimony, you know what exactly I'm talking about. And I'm not talking about this just for, you know, entertainment. I'm not coming here on this platform to entertain anybody. In fact, I just want as many people as possible to know the truth because the Bible says you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Recently, you saw a, a secular artist, a very renowned secular artist, perform in Atlantis. All of you watched the symbolism in that performance. It was not just a performance. There were so many symbols. You know, I'm not mentioning names because YouTube has taken down one of my videos before and I've been promised to, they've promised to shut, to shut down this account. But I will still come out and expose this wickedness so that you get helped. And I request that you allow your children watch this because they are targeting the children. And us, we want the children to be, to be delivered because they are the next generation. Now, this particular celebrity, she's always talking about the queer community and the LGBTQ. And, and she's always, even during the Grammy Award, as she was receiving the Grammy Award, she was thanking the queer community. She's out and open about this. So now, look at where it's putting uh, the young generation that is, that is following after these celebrities. When you look at Nollywood, all these male characters, the actors that you know, name them, have acted before wearing dresses. And what does that mean? When these people are being initiated or into the brotherhood, they have to be sodomized. I've been telling you this all the time, that they have to sodomize them in order for them to get roles. And for them to uh, appear as members of the brotherhood, at a certain point, they have to put on dresses. All of them, name, or, name any actor you know of, all of them have acted in roles where they have put on dresses and they have come out and confessed as I'm going to show you some of these videos on YouTube so that you know, you know, you know the truth and the truth shall set you free. He was really trying to help me at the time. I didn't know that. I was immature. Right. I feel like, dang, why? I'm trying to, uh, just trying to make it. Why are you bashing me? I think the dress personally uh, is a thing that was, 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 is not in our culture to do. And I think everybody will want to put their culture on us. And no, not to hate your culture or your God. Mm -hmm. If your God say you can put on a dress and your culture is normal for you, that you have the right as a human to choose that. But me, for my God and my culture, my ancient culture, we just never, we didn't do stuff like that. Yeah. So, I was cursed by it. I believe it was a curse that went with that, personally, because nothing went right since then. That's true. No one can tell me, hey, man, you think it's like me. You see that, man? Can't. Everything went wrong. It's like everything went right. Everything went wrong when I put on that dress. I'm telling you, I lived it. Yeah. Is there any, like, uh, 
Even Martin, things went wrong when he did it too, because Martin is very anointed. Martin is a very okay. strong man. And Stage Spell said that too. He said things about that too. And something, if you look at Martin's Arsenio Hall interviews, you look at him now, something's changed. You know? Yeah, well, Martin, uh, I, I noticed that. It's not too. a shot, but something's changed. Honestly, I think it's a spiritual thing, but I, everyone has their own journey. Were you ever asked, you know, ever had a role where you were going to dress like a, you know, dress like a woman in that role had you accepted it no I, it was it was a part of a comedy uh i was doing a, um, a sitcom and it was just a quick suggestion i'm like oh, get I'm, I'm not doing that and they, oh, okay cool it was of course if they take down this account follow me on my facebook erica mukisa's testimonies i'll show you where you can find me again because they are fighting the truth, but the truth will come out whether they like it or not. And help me spread it by sharing. So uh, these celebrities have put on dresses. The male celebrities have put on dresses just to make a statement that they have compromised, they have sold their souls. And there is another celebrity who was performing, his name is Nelly and got possessed and his eyes started rolling and started making symbols. You would see him possessed and he made a symbol of triple six and he also threw the whole symbol up. And in a performance, so we are telling you that music is a, is a mode of trans, transportation. They transport spirits through music so it can be the spirit of God being, transport, being transported through worship music or evil spirits being transported through music, you know, secular music. Even when I was serving in the kingdom of darkness, whenever we would go to shrines for these sorcerers to be able to enchant spirits, they would sing songs that would satisfy these spirits and attract them and transport them into this realm and that's when they will be able to function at their best. So I'm talking about things from an angle of experience. Just to make you know that this LGBTQ thing is serious. I'm talking about it because it is a serious agenda. And these people are serious about everything that they are doing. They are not joking. So church, wake up. There is a musician known as Sam Smith. Sam Smith came up with a song, Searching for Love. In this song, Searching for Love, he wore a dress, a, he started with a pink dress, then a black dress surrounded by men who were wearing dresses. So the love of these days has changed. Before it has been man and woman. That is how God created us. He wanted us to marry male and female, and also in order for us to multiply, you know, these people you see who are going against the will of God are dying from cancer of the colon or colon cancer. They are damaging their rectums. So much is happening and they are dying prematurely. Look at those superstars who shine for a short time and then they perish immediately. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Now this Sam Smith acts, he's searching for love and he's searching for love among men who are dressed as women and our children are growing up watching this music listening to their music and watching these videos these are the videos on instagram tiktok facebook youtube and every other platform parents let us take time to teach our children about sex education and sex education in a godly way let's make them know what god wants them to be and god is purpose for their lives. Let them know that this thing is not godly and the enemy is trying to force it, forcefully impose it on us. And many schools have been funded by this community because they, are, they have invested a lot of money and they are now training our children to accept their evil agenda. And all the, those of you who have read the Bible about Sodom and Gomorrah, you know why that city was destroyed. You know, they were mixing with fallen angels, 
men were sleeping with men, women were sleeping with women to the point that Lot wanted to give those men his virgin daughters and they could not accept. They wanted to sleep with the angels. That is what provoked God and angered him. And he decided to destroy that entire city, including Lot's wife. So, wake up saints. Don't allow Erica alone to speak. Even if you cannot speak, you're afraid to talk. Share, comment, subscribe. You know, let us spread this gospel. You can preach on your platforms. You can use every platform that God has given you to preach the kingdom. May God bless you. I love you. Mami Zion, a.k.a. Mama Maisha. Have you been blessed? Well, click on that notification bell so that every time we upload, you'll be the first one to know about it. Please share, comment, and subscribe. Let us know whatever you think about everything that we post. If you want to support our ministry, I just want to remind you that we don't go into the comment section asking people for money. You can find the information in our description box. And then also, you can visit us on our website, www.lifeisspiritual.org. If you want to support our foundation, we have a foundation where we do charity and take care of the orphans, the widows, and the elderly. If you want to support our foundation, you can visit us on our website www.worldshare.com for more information and then also you can support through our paypal account that is running on the screen send wave or world remit through the numbers that are running on the screen and also don't forget to get yourself some copies of our books we have written books entitled Erica Part 1, Seven Years in Hell, Erica Part 2, 18 Years with Lucifer, Erica Part 3, Witchcraft and Spiritual Warfare, Erica Part 4, Death, Hell and Heaven, and The Truth About Money. All our books are available on Amazon, Kindle, and our website www.lifeispiritual.org. Both our websites have our books. You can access them. All our books are available on both our websites. For those of you that are in Kenya and would love to order books, you can contact us on those numbers on the screen. From Uganda, our books are available at Uganda Bookshop, Enjoy Bookshop, and Aristoc Bookshops. If you want to follow us on Facebook, we don't ask for money on platforms and avoid conmen, but our Facebook channels are Life is Spiritual and Erica Mukisa's Testimonies. Erica Belinda's ministry is no longer my page. It's a hacked page. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Mama Maisha.